Alright, today I would like to introduce how to make lo-fi hip-hop without using laptop and this time we use the SP44 and iPhone 6 and 5S Now, I'm recording a sample which is from the Jazz sound YouTube channel It's called the Cafe Music BGM It's generally, I google it and they just come up the first one and uh, use the phrases This phrase sample Sound beautiful, so I would like to use this phrase. It's just like improvisational. And next, move on. I would like to make. A, I would like to record this drum pattern, and, and I'm using the drum app, which is called the Hip Hop Drum Pad 24. And there's a lot of the presets of the sample, so I'm recording a kick and hat into the SP44 and uh, now this time I haven't recorded the snare drum because I did not like the preset instead I use a different uh, pattern of the preset alright by the way I cannot skip the ad advertisement I also like the trap music though alright next let's move on uh, making the drum pattern the boom bap but before recording sound, I always use isolator and vinyl sim in order to sound more fat. And make it the uh, uh, lo-fi hip-hop boom bap type of beat. I'm recording into one pad like this. Boom, bat. Relatively, the BPM is 85, 6 around, I think. And um, next, to move on, the, I edit the sample phrases which I sample. And as uh, I use the effect, same as the drum button, I use the isolator and the final sim 2 and 3. Pat. And then the chop the sample. 3, 4, and number 7 and 8, like this. See? Yeah. And mixed with the drum with the piano loop. In order to make a loop, I'm just uh, check the sound how it goes on. Yeah, it works well. Alright, next I'm gonna record in the uh, uh, samples in order to make a loop more properly. By the way, SP44 is impossible to record stereo sound if you touch more than the two pads at the same time. So, in order to record the stereotype more than the two or three, you don't touch the two or three sounds. It means like uh, you need to, several times, you need to record the sound. It takes time, but uh, actually it works. You see. First time. Uh, first try and second try and third try are divided three or four times and to in order to make uh, um, in order to record the stereo sounds like this and the rest of the other drum pattern and drum loop I haven't touched any piano loop because I, I'm, I wanted to make the space at the time to to add another uh, piano loop so this time I cut the sample more in easily not easily I cut the sample more like a more precisely and uh, and put in the assign into the one and two and uh, pattern five but firstly we'll make sound 
like this. See? Alright. Yeah. In order to make the verse part, yeah, that one is really needed. And next, I added a sub bass, which is I used the uh, uh, number 22 MFX uh, subsonic, and I recorded the uh, bass line, sine bass, with uh, the sample that I made it, create. Now it works. Next, I'm um, using the application. It is called the Yamaha application. In order to use it, Yamaha, I would like to uh, co connect with the Bluetooth, which is called the uh, Micro Keys 2, and that is very helpful MIDI, key MIDI keyboard because you don't have to uh, use the audio cable directly. Let's see. And that Yamaha application, there's a lot of the sound preset is available, but still, sometimes the sound is a little bit tricky. But generally speaking, it is very useful. And I may I play in the sound with the MIDI keyboard, and the result is here. Thank you for listening. Uh, Thank you for watching in this video.